Okay, so let's start with the question number 61. Thank you guys for keeping up so long and coming to the fourth part of CMCQs. So let's start with the question. Over here, we have a C code. Now, in the main function, we are having an array of type char. Okay, moon backslash zero, YouTube black backslash zero. Now print f percent s. We are trying to print well. Now what happens over here? We all know that strings in C are saved as character array. So over here what happens is that whenever we write moon and a backslash with a zero, backslash zero is considered as a terminator. So whenever the compiler is running through this code, when it goes like okay, M O O N, then when it sees a backslash zero, it just terminates the string over here and it continues with the code. So over here, the answer will be A moon. Okay, in C language, backslash zero indicates termination of a string. So when moon backslash zero youtube backslash zero is given to the character array val the compiler reads and stores the moon in the char array but when it encounters backslash zero it considers that the string has terminated and hence it ignores the rest of it only moon is stored in when val and thus the output is moon let's go on to the next question now over here we have again a code int main void we're trying to print f a character in just moon things 4. Now over here you must be wondering what exactly is 4. We all know that whenever for example we have a array name a. Okay so whenever we do like this it returns us the value that is present at the index 1. Okay in the same manner compiler treats this string as a character array and it prints the fourth order okay we all know that array starts from zero okay so what would be the fourth one at the index zero one two three four so in this case m will be printed so the answer is b m over here we have a question with a code again we are trying to print float value of square root of 36.0 and we are returning 0 so over here we have percent f so the float value of square root of 36 we all know that square root of 36 is 6 the float value for this would be 6 with a point and 6 zeros behind it if we had a percent d over here we would have printed 6 but over here since we are trying to print the float value of it D is our answer. How many times hello will be printed? Let us go through the code. We have hash include header file. Then we have the main method over here. We are trying to print f hello. Then we are calling the main method again. So how this will go is that a main method will run. Then hello. Then main, main method will be called again. Then again a hello will be printed. This will go recursively. Now, infinite times, no. Uh, if it goes infinite times, that means our memory is infinite. The case is not true. So, A is not the answer. Will it be printed 1000 times? No. 2, 5, 6, 8 times? No. Whenever we have a case of recursion, whenever we call a function inside itself, it runs inside a memory, inside a stack. So the answer will be B till stack overflows. Always remember when it comes to recursion, stacks are always involved. Infinite times will never be the answer. It will depend upon the 16 bit, 32 bit and it will also depend till the time your stack overflows. And yes, we can call a main function inside a main function. Now over here we have a theoretical question. A function cannot be defined inside another function the answer is true one function can only return one value at a time so one function 
cannot be defined inside another function. So over here the answer is A, true. This is again a theoretical question. Usually recursion works slower than loops. Whenever we work with loops, we do not play with a memory or a stack. We just, you know, iterate, change the value of i and just iterate the loop again. When it comes to recursion, we call the whole function inside another function. So the answer is true. Recursion works slower than loops. Now, which of the following gives us the memory address of the first element in array moon? For example, we have declared an array moon. Now we want the memory address of first element. Whenever we, you know, work with arrays, the name of the array points to the first value. Okay. So here we have moon zero. Moon zero will return the first value, but we do not need the value. We need the memory address of first value. Okay, ampersand moon, uh, we cannot, you know, moon will act as a pointer. The name of the array act as pointer. So ampersand moon will not give us the memory address of the first element in array moon. Moon one will also give us the value. So over here, this will give us the value. This will also give us the value. So the answer is B, moon. The name of the array points to the first element. So the memory address of the first element when it comes to array is saved inside the variable name. Now over here, which of the following, wait, hmm, which of the following is false about functions? More than one function is allowed in a program. Yes, we can have multiple functions, the main function and other functions. A function can call itself. Yes, a function can call itself. This is the whole concept of recursion. Constant can come in formal argument list. We will deal with this later. A function can call another function. Yes, this is true. But always like inside the main we call other functions, right? But we cannot define a function inside another function. You can call the function but you cannot define. Over here you can see that there is a main method and we are calling over here a sum so yes we can call see over here new and addition and sum are being called inside main so yes you can call a function inside another function so over here a b c are true about functions constants can come in formal argument so what exactly is formal argument list whenever you define the function and over here Whenever you define the type of inputs it will take, these parameters are called formal parameters and you cannot keep a constant over here. If you want to create a constant, a variable name, you have to declare it inside the function. So the statement over here, which is false about functions is C, constants can come in formal argument list. This is again a theoretical question. A variable in C can start with what? A number, a underscore, a asterisk, a plus sign. No variables cannot start with numbers. Yes, a variable can start with an underscore. No, a variable cannot start with asterisk. No, a variable cannot start with a plus sign. Because plus and asterisk are kind of operators when it comes to C language, and a number cannot, a variable can start with a number. So the answer over here will be B underscore. You can define a variable name with underscore at its start. Which function in C returns nearest integer value which is greater than or equal to the argument passed at to the function? Let us take the example. What this thing is trying to say is that, for example, if I have a value 5.6. Okay. Now in what function should I pass this value? Okay. Among these. So I get a value which is greater than or equal to it. Okay, so I should get a value 6. Okay, so over here the answer is seal. Okay, seal is the function which returns greater than or equal to value when argument is passed to the function. Always remember, for example, if I have 5.6 and I need a greater 
nearest integer and a smallest nearest integer over here the answer is 6 for the greater and 5 for the smaller when we need upper one we use seal and when we need the smaller one we use floor it's the same as the concept of a ceiling and a floor inside a room okay so the answer over here is a c which function in c returns nearest integer value which is lesser than or equal to it now we are dealing with lesser than or equal to so as we have discussed earlier it will be float seal is for the greatest and floor is for the lesser one yeah which of the following executes at least once do while while for if when it comes to if whenever the condition is true then only it will act oh wait hmm. when it comes to if the statement inside the brackets will only you know be executed if the condition is true same goes for for same goes for while when it comes to do while first the do block is run and then it goes to while if the while condition holds true then the loop continues so when it comes to at least once the answer will be a do while the block inside the do executes at least once which programming language is more faster among these java php c visual basics uh, there is a hint binary languages are more faster than assembly we all know this the answer the answer is c c c is the programming language which is faster among java php and visual basics over here c is the binary language java php and vb are the assembly languages Now, which indicates a new line character in C? Backslash N, double backslash N, front slash N, double front slash N. When we want to print something on the new line, when it comes to C, we always use backslash N. We cannot declare static in C, a variable, a function, a structure. Yes, we can define a variable to be static in C. Yes, we can define a function to be static in C. Structure is just a user defined data type. So if we can declare a variable static, we can also define a, a structure to be static. So the answer is D, none of above. which what returns int basically which among these two functions returns integer value scanf printf both none of above uh, scanf returns the number of character it has scanned okay so yes scanf returns int printf printf also returns integer value for example if you are printing hello it will return 5 so the answer over here is the both both of them scanf and printf return int let's go through the code what will be the output we have int a equals to 100 b equals to 20 both of them are of type int if a equals to b printf just else printf moon when it comes to if okay so when it comes to c language till the time i'm not passing a zero over here it will always run the if block for example if a equals to 0 then it will go to the else block okay over here we are assigning 20 to a so this whole um, execution will return 20 inside if so we are return, returning something other than 0 so just will be printed so the answer is a just when it comes to c language it is not mandatory that over here we need uh something like uh, what i can say a conditional statement a comparative statement something that returns boolean no even if returns a 20 
even if there is an assignment operation this will run it won't throw an error okay so I have a same question over here again as discussed earlier we have a if block and we have a else block we have to figure out what is the output so okay as we have discussed earlier printf always returns integer value so over here if we have hello and a space it will return 6 to if and we are returning something other than 0 inside if so printf block this statement will run so the answer will be just no this is wrong over here we have a printf this printf will be executed later on the execution will pass its output to the if so over here the answer will be hello space and adjust if we write same header files twice compiler will throw error since c is a sequential language it compiles one line after the other so if i'm writing hash include std oh once okay and again if i'm writing the same thing the compiler will fetch the functions from it again it won't throw an error so the answer is false what is the right way to comment a printf double black slash double asterisk hash hash i do not know what this is called so the answer is a double backslash printf thank you guys for watching there's just one more video left to complete 100 cfcqs the part 5 will be uploaded soon and if you want to watch java mcqs you can also go through my channel and find a playlist of top 50 java mcqs thank you for watching the whole video like and subscribe